Alright, welcome back to Kanata Chronicles. Might need to hide myself properly in the bed like a gremlin. The cyber is coming after all. There's no escaping it. I get changed in my room and arrive in front of the twins' house overlooking the crafters' district. Yes. Oh yeah, we're going to walk out. Rosy red cheeks of love. Shall we around? Or training be? Maybe we should just spend today in the first one? Rumor when I am nervous is part of my thing, in case you didn't notice, you son of a bitch. I wish I was one of you. I grasp my arm and clings onto it while she explains. If you could give me an idea of the training you have planned that might help me get into the right metal space. What? You're going to tell me? The king narrows her eyes. I just thought that you would go more with a don't take feel kind of approach. I wouldn't be surprised to learn the official cutout slogan is Just give it a try! Like, just give fun to get taking a try! Like, you've experienced that one already.考えるより感じろって、それこそ子供使いの鍛え方だし。むしろまともな能力なら、まともな鍛え方がちゃんとあるよ。ね、シンはシロータもいいところだから、子供向けの訓練からやっていくわよ。オッケー、シュア。I'
I actually don't understand what she just told me. <laughs> no. Oh, god damn it, I was just, just. You! Stop it! Can you see the Gira game? What do you want me to do? Stomaza! Kotodama will scut them we got a Sokono Kaidan will tend to sit the bus there. Sokunin guy, my tongue. At the amount of virus, Kakin points on the steps to sitting from where we're standing. I frown and think. The cracker district is down there at the bottom of the steps. That's true. That there's more than 100 steps to reach it. Simply consider it as a measure of height and include the distance in empty space. It's like being told to leap up a 10 story building. Well, if I use a Kododama to enchant myself or force myself to jump off, I could make a start. But I'm pretty sure the ladder would break my legs. Or just kill me. Maybe I do just die? That's the conclusion I'll come to. Sounds pretty obvious. Or I uh, always get a that test and your parakut's gonna fix all that. To me at least. Yeah. This is ridiculous! I'm not sure what else I was expecting! You two are wildly killed! I start to post, feeling like I'm losing it already. You can't help but comment. You're telling me this is training for kids? That having powers means you can easily do this? Are you people insane? I'm desperate, and the verge of breaking down. It's not that I can't understand what they're saying. Powered people can probably bungee jump without a rope or skydive without pa a parachute for all I know. Jumping down these steps is possible for them. There's nothing they can do. In action manga or movie, still looks cool when a super powered hero jumps down from somewhere high. Like the concrete cracking around their feet as they land. Just so cool. Oh man, I almost feel like giving it a try. But this isn't a movie. A fellow like that would cripple or kill a normal human. <laughs> Yuri mutters more to herself as she looks away. I'm always forcing her to do difficult things and causing her trouble. She must be loving seeing me put in the situation. Curse you! Of all those five deaths, payback with this. One day you'll see. いつまでぐずぐずしてるのよ。茜も青いもずっと前にこの訓練をしたのよ。したのよ。ドリームストーンシンバル。Seriously? I know it, damn it! A big bet that the pack of lies! This isn't Sparta! Uh, can I start off with five steps, Jill? But before I can make that request. Again, we just towards me. I feel something grabbing around my legs, and then... Well, I'm dust up into the air, like a doll thrown from a window by a massive unseen hand! I start feeling dizzy! I apply my arms at the strange feeling of light! I want to curse out volume, please. Uh, my lips make a contact with nothing but air! Everything around me feels... Our arm is blurry and blue! I don't even know where the crowd is. I've lost all sense of direction. It finally the clicks. They can use their wind powers to blast me out into the empty air. I got an uncarted shout. Scary, scary, scary shit. Humans are not made to fly. Oh crap, what'd I do? Think, think. Land. I force my spinning head back into some semblance of understanding and see the first kind of drama I can think of. 
immediately after that. A plan! The feeling of floating abruptly ends, and suddenly I'm being dragged down by my back. My trajectory changes from a gentle arc to a direct line downward. The sudden G force making my spine creak. La land, as I said, which means that I'm heading directly, to, uh, directly down towards the ground. Godzilla, don't make things worse. I'm the one who said it, but the unstable black power still makes me mad. I have a few seconds before I eat dirt. If I was calm, if I was watching this happen to someone else, they'd probably come up with all sorts of ways out of it. But it's different when it's happening to you. I've fallen into a complete panic. My head is filled with nothing but screams for a solution. I can't form a single word otherwise. Death. Certain death. That sensation hands control of my faculties back over to my mechanical left brain and my rampage is larger. My body stops flapping around. It's not like I'm not going to forget to land and let her fly. Instead, the same black fire erupts from my right arm. My upper body twists and I swing my fire arm with all my might. Centrifugal force spins my body and for a moment I see the ground. Just a moment. It's right in front of my face. I let the force spin me again, right? I get out for a second crazy rotation. And then I sent the arm of black fire heart into the ground. My arm sticks hard into the road of the crackers district, throwing up a plume of dust. The destructive force of my arm easily surpasses the impact. Even from a such a massive fall, my body forcing itself back under control. Exclamations of surprise rise from all around me. Physical effects. This is by the way different taken since uh, ah no uh, all smiling, all normal looking. I expect the uh, shadow over his head, head, head while he is in Daiki mode. Physical effects, dizziness, stress on right shoulder, condition light, repair complete. Uh, no, uh, situation resolved. My apogee logic withdraws and the fire arm vanishes. I still can't speak, staggering got to all fours on the ground. My brain has shut down too. <laughs> ちょっと無理やりだったけど、普通にできたでしょ Back to the Japan I know and love. A savage cry rises up from inside me. I'm seriously about to break down. I get it. The twins didn't mean anything by it. After experiencing it once, I'm not going to suffer the same kind of panic again. Besides, this is a faster way down to the crafters district than running via acceleration from the palace. Fast enough to make it down here if the techie attack. I get it. I just don't want to. <sighs> I'm starting to feel pretty pathetic myself, but I drag myself to my feet. My mind in tatters. The twins are about to say something, but I've had an idea that I decide to try out. Wee! And just myself using the Kododama and kick off the wall of a nearby building. That propelled me up on the roof of the building across the way, where I gave a speech the day before. This time I'm going up higher rather than falling down, so I went without any concerns about the impact. Interesting. Yep, okay, I can do it. Once I know I can do something, then I can do it again. The fear and noise died down inside my head, and this starts to feel fun. I even start to feel a little superior. 
I don't have any personal memories, but maybe this is what it felt like riding a bike with the training wheels up for the first time. It feels good. It also means I can do something else. Black fire! I stimulate my left brain using the Kodama while focusing my awareness at the palm of my right hand. Ooh, Ooh a black fire appears there! The Kodakami power is supported by technology. Once I have a feeling for it, I can pull it out whenever I like. Although not as powerful as during Rampage. I can do it. Once I know I can. Quite a paradox. I squeeze my fist uh, uh, closed and the fire goes out. What Oh, hi. A kitten leaps up beside me and peers at my face. With those large, innocent eyes. I was just thinking. I can actually do this. It's not worth getting gangry about, but it, uh, it would also feel strange to offer thanks. So I just tell it how it is. <笑>最初にこの頃の距離を飛べた時って自分にびっくりしちゃうよね。私はしてるよ、アイ。うん。母親は力の制御が下手だから、今でもたまにずっこけるよ。だって。アイ、たくさんの手で仕立てしてみ
Well done, Jichu. You're not training me to defeat Harokime, but to learn how to use the techie power. Huh? So nano? Yes. Yes, that's right. Really? I'm actually surprised at the king's actual surprise. When? When did the purpose of our training get changed? Why clings to my arm again? Her small body is apt and sticky with sweat. Nope. Oh. That's your personal business. Nothing to do with me. Again, points right at me. Classic counter logic. If you're strong, get to join the eight swords. And once you're a sword, aim to become Ichi no Kami. They aren't exactly a sports team pulling together to win the nationals. But I also can't dismiss their way of life out of hand. Well, if because I got a strike of that to play Tarugia means I'll be able to use the techie power, I guess we could give it a try. So yo, yo to itta wa! Sasuga akane no kobun ne! Itta dake de, Shio nichan wa yaru ki wa na sa so dake to. Sore ja, ni no kami ni kitae rare ta Shinkun to no te awase o tanoshimi ni shiteyo. Nani do saksa magire ni itte ru no? Yeah, we're going to the beach. The king's tone is casual. Eh, why not? I feel a catch there. Is it to get under the surface? If our goal is going to be strong enough to defeat Haruhime, surely it could spar with uh, Fayohida too, right? If I'm trying to defeat the strongest of the swords, it makes no sense to avoid finding the goal no kami. それはね、強さの質が違うんだよね。敵を相手にするのと人間同士でやり合うのはちょっと違うのよ。Ah, gotcha. The thing you need to defeat the tech is, plain of speaking, firepower. You need to break through their overwhelming set of defenses. That being so difficult is where the eight swords come in. But you don't need such firepower against humans. Killing another human is impossible even without any special powers. You two and Haruhina fight barehanded, so are you saying Clank with Fuyuhita is more dangerous because he uses a weapon? From what I've seen of Fuyuhita, it's rare for him to interrupt someone like that. Well, if he has Boiling Eyes powers, then... Yes, can run while he talks. I'd like to see him. There's a remarkable number of fox masks working in the fields and looking our way. Even if they aren't close by, some might have powers that let them hear us. I'm intrigued about why he stopped the conversation, but I can ask about that later. I keep my mouth shut. Hmm? <laughs> たにに聞かれたくないとか思うんだ。周知の事実でも不必要に皆を怖がらせる必要はないだけさ。冬日が久しぶりに野宿も楽しいだろうけどね。Hey, that sounds like a good time. I came on the rough part, a bit before camping, but it could be worth experiencing at least once. そういえば、湖のあたりで数体の鉄器が目撃されているから気をつけて。片付けておく。海までの人通りの邪魔になるようなら頼むよ。We <笑> use a hand and leaves. Being asked to wipe out some tech seems a dangerous request to make, but both sides treat it as a casual exchange. The twins don't expect it to be any trouble. Okay, let's get moving. But before we do, Harry, footsteps approach. Oh, Yuri, 
応急か宿舎に戻ったんじゃないのあ,ない<笑>あ,あのすみません<笑>ちょっと息を整えてくから<笑>あの、置いていかれたらとは言いましたので。You ran all the way, all the way here at the top speed? Well done! She's certainly consensuous. You don't need to worry about protecting me today. I repeat myself, just in case she's still trying to follow Haruhima's orders. Sorry, I'm not sure. 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 やめておいたらわ分かっていますそれでもお願いします This feels that's too shallow but she bounced her head Hmm I decided to design construct and launch her a life raft Well one of you twins are so strong I'm sure you can protect your and me without any problems あそうねあかねたちなら楽勝じゃない I know you can. We're safe in your hands, a k i n You're strong, reliable, cute. Such a pushover, cute. So full of energy and so g u y s d a n cute. もう死んだら、事実だとしても褒めすぎよ。ちょろいああ、しお兄ちゃん。お姉ちゃんの扱いがうまくなってきたね。You're cute too. Like a lot. Well, all of that was true. I ask to Aoi, who has a big smile on her face, and then turn back to Yuri. It sounds like you've got nothing to worry about, Yuri. Ha. Ha. Do. I guess she question mark on her gratitude, but I let it slide. ところで Yuri お姉ちゃんはなんで一緒に行きたくなったの？それはえっと大したことではないのですが。Yuri glances at me. いろいろと思うところはあるのですが、神様が何を見て何を話すかをできる限り知っておきたいんです。ん ?I t e l s her head and I do the same thing.You want to know what I've seen and heard? 真のことが好きなの ?Whoa there!Akin inserts herself into the conversation by going right for the throne. そういうことではありませんよ。誤解しないでください。Your blush is so cute, but she's looking at me and not at a king. し、神様は戦う力もありますが、それ以上に新しい知識やおかしな考え方を持っています。ハルヒメ様はそんなあなたを大事にされていて、昨日や今朝の話からその重要性が私にも少し分かってきたんです。それで、私も強くなること以外にも、自分にできることがあるのか真剣に考えてみたいんです。だから、えー、っと、そこで一番参考になるのが、やっぱりあなたのすることだから、一緒に、え、近くにいたいだけです。Those guys, the guys are damn adorable.Let's see.She's being serious, so I respond with an honest nod.You're trying to change. Trying to make yourself change. Dokoro, Yapari Shinto is Sunita eat the Kotoyone. Chiga, yes, so not in Musk. Conkai no Yuri on Nathan Hanashiwa, Aoi Moyoko, Akarana Kataketo. She on each and to Isonita, to Mosiro, she, Bikuri Surishi, Oishikara, in the Naikana. と,とにかく呼び止めてしまい失礼しました行きましょう
good idea. Is there any more training in store along the way? So from this point on, we're outside Kanto. I'm starting to get nervous. But my excitement is far greater. I've taken my first steps into a new world. And so, about an hour after leaving the fields, we've crossed some muds and hills and arrived at some more open spreading scenery. We reached the end of the stream that flows down from the palace through the Crafters District and out from the town of Kanta. Gorgeous. I bet it would look even more gorgeous at night. It's easy to describe this place. Nature. Natural. Around fields, forests, and hills, all of which I've only viewed from afar since I've, I awoke. It's a beautiful scene. And that beauty stretches as far as the eye can see. But looking at it from the palace was like looking at a postcard from some distant land. It feels completely different standing here and seeing it for myself. This is new. Beautiful world is very much alive. The wiring hall is brimming with life. An overwhelming number of small animals, rabbits, raccoon dogs, boars, and very colored birds are trudging by the water. There's also a large pack of ducks, or maybe those are wolves? There are larger animals too. Probably zero SKPs, because they include not only deer, horses, cows, and sheep, but also giraffes. And hippos. An example from my past knowledge. The area around the nuclear plant after an accident turning into a treasure trove of wild animals after just a few years without human habitation. The animals don't seem frightened by uh, uh, of us. I don't normally consider rabbits pretty flighty animals, but they basically pass right between our legs. There aren't many humans in the world anymore. These animals hardly encourage them. So they don't recognize us as predators. Wow, this world is so alive. I'll let out a sag. This world is so alive. I'm once again reminded, most painfully, of the fall of the humans who once stood above all these creatures. Yuri peers over at my state of shock. Her expression is business as usual. I can't tell how I are smiling at the waterfall view. I'm the only one reading any deeper into what we're all seeing. <laughs> Yuri calls to me again due to my lack of reply the first time. No, I'm fine. Just peachy. I smile. I'll press like a hand to my chest. I'm fine. I'm out here to see the stuff. That's what we are here for? I'm fine. This sadness is inside me. That's why I'm here. I came to, to say goodbye. That's more like that's more like what this is. Hi. No, don't worry about it. I declare breath and let my pain. That pain unique to me. Sink down on the way. The twins realize Yuri and I have stopped and turned to come back towards us. I wanted to see the world outside Kanto. And here it is. Did I take a moment to just look at it a little longer? Twins look around, trying to spot what could be such a big deal to me. Yuri is looking around too. Nope, there's nothing. I mean, nothing specific. I give a rare laugh. I want to see the differences from the world I know 1,000 years ago. Oi steps in to explain to her sister. 日本って国で 
。ずっと昔は1億人以上の人がいて、今と違って見渡す限りに建物があったって。えー、っと、1億っていくつあわい。一千万の次、かな。大丈夫一、十、百、千。その次は何だっけ ?I can start scouting on your fingers? You can't tell they really had to count over one thousand? 私も過去の世界の話は読みましたが、鉄でできた乗り物が走り、何でも手に入る店や箱があったそうですね。That's right. Cards, convenience stores, and vending machines. Hmm. Coco, you may take so hodo to you know. Matak so so de kimasen, eh? Yuri murmurs as she looks around. I'm at the other side of that. I need to see for myself that such scenery is really gone. That's why I wanted to come here. Hmm. So, na koto yori, o naka ga sai te kita wa? Well, okay. You aren't even going to try and imagine to cite some sharing with you? It's almost refreshing how smoothly she dismisses the past. I can't remember anything. I can't pass yourself up with a short, uh, sh 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 snort. Ah, I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything. Yuri tries to stick up for me while clearly not wanting to tread on any toes. That's why, the feeling of the soul is not good. So, 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 何を気にする必要があるのなるほど。Sounds reasonable to me.I gave an hour laugh.That's pretty much exactly what I promised the Cantons last night.We connect the past to the present and make the future.That means things we don't have right now will at some point come into being.I'm impressed, Akin. ねえ、でしょさすがお姉ちゃんなんだよ。Aoi laughs as well, watching, me, watching with a smile on her face. So refreshing. Rahima is prone to getting lost in her thoughts like me. She must really love these twins too. We let the feels behind, so there's something else I want to ask. I recall a topic I wanted to come back to. Why did you say that I shouldn't fight Fuyuhita? Even just sparring. Eh? Fuyuhita-sama to tatakao o tsumori datta n desu ka? Yuri, who wasn't there at the time, gives a frown. Yeah, that sounds like something that was general knowledge, unspoken or otherwise. Yuri seems to know, uh, to know about it too. I understand that fighting a teki and fighting a human are two different things. But what's the deal with Fuyuhita specifically? It isn't that what all the eight swords can do as well? 8件になる前から、自分から望んでずっと人殺しをしてたんだもんね。Yeah, a serial killer in our group. I'm unable to form an immediate reply. It's not that I don't understand. I see him. I feel the end of silence with a vague response. That certainly isn't the kind of thing you do want to chat about casually. Even if everyone knows. Dead by one of the swords. Is he responsible uh, uh, for the population check? Just so there wouldn't be too many people. If that's the case. Uh, that's dark. The act of killing a human. That wouldn't be considered a crime like it would in my time. Quite the opposite. Yeah, it's more like the execution of the law. Wow. Yeah, 
Even if you remove the individuality of the people of Kanta, that does not mean conflict and crime have been eradicated. And someone has to clean those things up. There are no written laws. No police organization. Which is exa exactly why someone like him is needed. And above all else, suppression of population numbers is an absolute cruel encounter. Someone has to balance the books. Oh, I'll keep the palm next to me. ふうゆう人は人を殺すことにためらいないくせに弱いから訓練とか練習試合でも全然手加減できなくて危ないのよ。手加減できないし、そもそも手加減する気もないよね。真の方も敵の力に染まると止まれないんでしょ。yeah, that's right. I'm unable to stop myself once that happens. I haven't made that connection. If I went into a rampage while finding Kuyuhita, the fighting wouldn't stop until one of us was incapacitated. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got it. That big sister bit was especially cute. She's younger than me! Is she trying to awaken some new fetish in me? Is that it? Yuri understands me all too well, her brow furrowed once more. No, no way! So he's a sword more suited to killing humans than killing Teki. I thought there was a left encounter that could shock me, but I see I was mistaken. Hey. I suddenly think of seven girls. Does that mean they are swords? Again, oh hey, yeah. do you do the same kind of thing too? I can't break myself to spell it out. These swords had the right to take life. It's a right I hold myself. One of the primary functions of the group, surely. But my fears are unfounded. <laughs> The twins' replies uh, are super casual, but reassuring. Again, throws a minor tantrum just at hearing Natsuhime's name. These she are so strong, they don't care about fighting regular humans. I see. If he's the one who handles that, then that means Haruhime and Tsubame aren't running around lobbing off heads either. Considering their age difference with Yohita, I doubt they've had to pop their killer cherries. That's a relief. I could have accepted it, but I wouldn't have enjoyed the process. Yuri murmurs to herself. That's right. He's been pumping up the unwanted of Kanta since before he was a sword. Uh, was there a reason for that? To become stronger, perhaps? But why? I'm only left with more questions. Hirohime needs to put on a display of strength, as Ichinokami and the ruler of Kanto. Again, the Naoi had their sights set on defeating Katadama users, fixed like a staring fox on one of those uh, on one of these rabbits. So uh, what about Fuyuhita? Apart from his proclivities, I can't see a, glare, a clear goal for wanting to become so strong from his actions. Maybe becoming a sword had been his final goal? And that's why he's so mellow now? Nope, probably not. But I guess it's a personal matter. Some answers can't be logically deduced. Especially from so little information. Yuri brings the conversation back around. Where is it how?
I immediately protest. Eh, then, the Kinset Center is not a good thing. You're in sorry, while still being careful not to tread on any toes. She isn't one to back down. Roy isn't backing down either. Yada! Joe, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to I'm surprised, but it's super cute. So I'll allow it. So, ne? Akane ga ichiban tsuyoi no yo? Eh, eh, eh. beaming from these compliments. Nee, so da yo ne? Demo, kinset sento o te koto nara, aoi no hou ga o ne chan yori tsuyoi in janai? So ka na? So yo. だって、アオイこそお姉ちゃんの双子の妹なんだから、強いでしょ<笑>やったー Did you have them each other? Just to come lay things further, where does Fuyu Hito rank in terms of close combat? Fuyu Hito は近接戦闘なら一番強いわよ。Which means Aoi is second? Aoi wa ichi ban yo? In my books. And you okay? Akane ga ichi ban ni kimatte ra janai! Well, okay. So everybody's first. That's amazing! I'm not even sure what first means anymore. They're selling to infect my head! Putting the rank is inside, this doesn't change the fact that I shouldn't be fighting for your hita. Let's pay attention to warnings of such magnitude. Well, his sword does look pretty sharp. I'm not saying that because I saw him naked. <laughs> Even if he told me Fuyuta was weak, I do still have a kind of instinctual fear of him. Huh? Without any preamble, Akinsa looks over towards the lake. She's looking at some trees on the far bank. Iru? Iru? Detekuru? I'm wondering what you're talking about when the trees start shaking and a black shape emerges. Hold on. I feel a cold sweat creep out on me. Cre creep up on me. We're more than a kilometer away, but I have no doubt what that massive shape is. A beast made of metal and walking on all fours. Hey, mm. He almost sounds excited. Gaki, Pharaoh's Fang, a category two techie. Who you told me, John? Go it to the no, or is a no, you know? Gaki, the it no got us. I know it's the Susumi Katanara. I never thought the oite mo monday nai desho. This isn't the ticket the twins are worried about. I'm unable to speak, unable to take my eyes off the Gaki. It looks a bit like a dog, but it definitely isn't based on a single type of four-legged animal. I can see Puma and Jaguar in there too. It's more than elephant-sized, more like a small T-Rex. And it's just walking normally between the be beasts of the field, walking leisurely along. So smoothly, like a living animal. I know it's the enemy of humanity, but for a moment I think how beautiful it is. What a strange sight. I can't help but comment. The Gaki is just strong along. It doesn't have the viciousness I've seen our techie display. The animals don't care about the Gaki either. In fact, it's the techie that seems to be going out of its way to avoid the loving creatures. So they really do only attack humans. I even surprised myself with how past uh, all the scene seems from a distance. It feels like the techie are doing a better job of blending in with nature than the humans. Ah, oh, that's the Again, points in a different direction from the Gaki. A black orb has floated up from a break in the lake on the right hand side. I beat your foot in the Gaki. But Yuri sounds more disturbed by this one. 
Probably the trauma from yesterday coming back to her? The rest of the party, including myself, aren't quite as concerned. あれはカントの方に向かって動いてるから倒しておく方がいいね。うん。It's <laughs> it sounds like they've been looking forward to this. You continue on foot a while longer, not falling into the detection range of the techie. We reach a lakeside that we were previously looking down on. The scenery here is great too, but I'm completely focused on the techie on the other side. あの敵は赤ネタは置いで倒すけど、ここまで呼ぶのは真がやって。カレット。ハウ。あの黒い炎を出せるでしょ。遠距離攻撃の訓練をするにはいい的よ。You're Black fire. I used to call the Dama to summon it again. I focus my mind on the co uh, conflagration, and it splits into three orbs about the size of softballs. Okay, but it's pretty far away. I follow my brow as I consider the distance to the tech here. It has to be about 4,500 meters away, if not more. At this distance, a single degree of difference in the angle of my throw will result in an error of more than 10 meters at the point of impact. I might even start a forest fire. Ah, thanks for the tip! Alright. This isn't uh, this isn't trying to get me used to these powers. It's training for how to master them. The two of them have given a lot of thought about the ways to fight. In fact, considering Galter fighting with Haruhime, it's more likely this is something they've been subjected to. Okay, I'll give it a try. Hit the ticket fireballs! I do at least try them a little, and then I fire off the fireballs alongside the comp the complimentary katadama. At first he split up in the air, but then they adjust course and go right for the techie. There is no sound of the killer 8 ball taking a waste of action. All three missiles land on target. Fire rises from the impact sites, but it simply, it simply burns the surface. And the techie is unaffected. But it does stop moving. Identifying that it was attacked, it increases its speed and starts moving uh, coming towards the source of the mis uh, uh, missiles. Once we're cut in the two I read reduction radius, it accelerates dramatically. Oh boy, the water of the lake ripples from the air pressure as it races towards us. Let's back up. But that suggestion to Yuri will start to move away. I make my eyes on the techie all the while. You are a base without comment? Good. That's really great. I watched the twins as they face the techie head on. Okay then, girls. Let's see what you've really got. There's a definite tension in Yuri's voice. There is no one else around at risk of getting hurt. That's reassuring. So you monodesca. Well, more than that, I trust the twins can handle this. And I want to see how they fight. Cut the dama you're just like how he meant myself simply applied the result first. Smash steel! And then punch to execute it. Pretty simple stuff. 
that I was out of power and had to use pure physical energy in order to crash attack you. I need to break at least as much force as I can during a rampage. That means I'm about to witness a regular fight for the first time. I'm worried, of course, but also intensely curious. This can't be your first time seeing them in action, Yuri. What have you got to be nervous about? She lives in Kanta, so she must have seen the swords in action. That's why she does what the swords tell her to. Why, all of them do. This is... I don't want to see the Yuri's voice is terrorist. She's unable to take her eyes from the techie, but just for a moment her expression stiffens up. Her face looks pale. I thought that was worry about the techie, but it's actually an expression of her own helplessness. No, more than that. Jealousy over the powers, bitterness even. Yuri's voice tightens up further. The tech is right next to the twins. Can't you move? Shippu! Jinrai! Both twins raises their voices. Their abilities read around their bodies. Again, wind power, making her clothing their hair up around her and flattening down the grass at her feet. Ah, penny shot block. Oi, lightning power! <laughs> Cute. With a small crack of electricity sparking over her body. Her right hand is holding enough power to glow. Then the two of them whip off, one left, one right, as they were repelled away from each other. They're moving so damn fast! I can only keep up because we're watching from a distance! If I were closer, it would have looked like they simply vanished! The king goes right and away left. But they expect us, expect us as much. It's been uh, two on one. They're using a pincer attack! The king seems to be a little closer to the techie because it adjusts its arc to move towards her. This uh, uh, their first attack draws near. I know I said I'd do leave to the twins, but I wonder if I should at least c accelerate myself. I don't really have time to take that thought. Did <laughs> <laughs> them speak again? A flash flickers out. Everything in the vicinity goes white. Let's take a. Guys, I'll pull out the, 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 the alternatives of our cuteness. Oh, I think I found just the right word. I can't help myself from uh, being adored by eyes, yandere face. It's so, it's so fucking cute. I don't know why. A second later, there's a tenderest clap and a mighty impact, like a real thunderbolt crashing down nearby. Whoa. Oh, I can't keep my surprise to myself as the white light fades back to reality. I try to work out what happened. There are two main changes. The advancing techie has now stopped. And Oi, who was circling to the left, is now at a point on the right. But Akin, but looking at further behind her, the techie isn't moving. Neither are the twins. The eyes of the hurricane. Bikuko. I even hear the twins' final murmurs, much quieter than before. And then... <laughs> wow, uh, the Tzeki shudders and drops on the ground. Hmm. But, 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 but uh, such a weak ass sound. The impact of such a lump metal causes a minor tremor. 
The bottom right section of the techie has been completely smashed, removing around a quarter of its mass. Wait, what? I don't even understand what happened. They're finished? Yep, it's over. The conclusion of the conflict is so unexpected, my emotions haven't caught up yet. I knew it would completely wreck the poor ball. But I thought it might put up a bit more, more of a fight. It didn't even take 10 seconds. If the impact of the flicker was what settled it, it might only have been two. My current record is, what, 17 seconds? The gap between us makes me shudder on the spot. So this is the real power of the eight swords. My mouth tastes like the brand of fear the professor was talking about this morning. Even techy re research did advance to the point of making weapons stronger than guns. I wouldn't want to fight them. Humans have been forced to fight to survive, and these are the ones, through natural talents and hard work, who have become the best at it. Now I understand how much Haruhina must have been holding back when she first taught the techie the day after I woke up. She used it to give uh, me a Katadama lesson. The twins confirmed the techie isn't moving and then finally relax. Then they rush over to the shattered metal orb and start celebrating. Ah, ちゃんと当たってるし、いつも言ってるけど、そんな細かい制御は無理だよ。そんなこと言って、たまに外して危ない目に遭うんだから。そうだけど… You aren't satisfied with this result? I was shaking my head already, but now it feels like I'm going to sprain my neck. Do you still want to get stronger? 力の放出や攻撃速度という点で… アオイ様は八剣でも随一なんですが、その分制御に不安定なところがあるそうです。ユリスウェイス。She's アカネ様が誘導していると簡単に言いましたが、実際には目に見えない風を鉄器にぶつけて足を鈍らせたり、アオイ様の攻撃がずれないように風の道を作っているとも言われています。私も正直そこまで細かく理解していません。他の者たち
uses the disability provided by her sister to hit her target with the strongest possible attack. The power of lightning? A staggering attack with her body enchanced by electricity? The massive energy she gathered in her hand explodes. She's adding lightning, striking horizontally across the ground. The fact it didn't knock the techie away, but actually pierced right through it on the spot speaks to the final results of her speed <laughs> and her impact. I make sure to pass through from the front left to right back, so as not to hit her sister. That's the situation I came back to once the flash cleared away. The final result. The result. That's how one looked at there. It might seem like a simple application of our uh, of Rob's strength. But that simplicity actually comes from intense optimization. The best result is to defeat their enemy before it can cause any damage to people or property. The best result is to defeat your enemy with a single attack, giving it no chance to strike back. A strategy and willing to fast its speed to the highest power. <laughs> Sorry, here. That makes it look reckless, but it's actually the safest option. Also keeping down any unnecessary exp expenditure of power. I see. Then from the Nyanokami, the woman said. Everything I've seen here, but like I said, the relative volume of output and speed are techniques I could hope to recreate. A completely different approach from the restricted powers of the Kotodama. Can the other eight swords defeat Teki this easily? No, other people have more to do with the other people, and to the the I see. Yuri provides an answer, but that question was more a comment to myself. An utterance of disbelief at what I witnessed here. But it seems that even among the special swords, there are a special few who are even more special. That's a lot of special, and I get it. I'm jealous. I'm completely jealous. I'm not passionate about combat or fighting. Not at all. And even I want to get my hands on that power. These girls are absolutely incredible. The perspective of the past, ruling people with status, authority, or money, doesn't swing here. They have incredible, unique powers belonging solely to themselves. So strong that they could be cast out into the wild and strike it off with a smile. The kind of power that doesn't need anyone else's approval, that gives them ultimate confidence in themselves. And that confidence allows them to continue to grow and improve. I understand it. It's not a power that can be explained with a single word. These girls have overcome trials and tribulations of their own. And yet, I'm still jealous. These winners in the lottery of probability and possibility. I'm so jealous of them. These dark feelings. They almost feel like a threat to connect myself to the techie. Yuri asks, uh, asks me. She sounds serious, so I stop thinking at the uh, uh, turn to look at her. What is it? Something you want to say to me? The fourth what? I don't get what she's talking about. But then I recall our conversation. There are only a few swords who can defeat even the lowest tracking techie alone. And I could be the fourth one of them. One of the reasons I'm here is to work on my techie powers, and Yuri is helping out by providing sweet combat exposition. It's our job to support me, and the emergence of more powerful swords will be good for Kanta. Just as I'm feeling jealous of the twins zipping about, Yuri is having those same feelings about me. That's what she's telling me. 
I guess... Yeah, I'll get jealous. And that... The hatred in her face that first time we met, now I finally understand it. In its entirety. Some guy just suddenly turns up with the power of the Kododama and the Teki, taking a spot among the swords and packed with knowledge from the past. The guy's special treatment than a normal Kantan like Yuri couldn't hope to receive. Even though all my powers are just po uh, borrowed. I'll try my best to earn your respect as a sword. <laughs> Yuri looks at me with quiet eyes. There's a, light, uh, a slight smile on her face, but at the same time her brow is furrowed. Please, please. I will. Yes. Then. No. The twins got in, their voice is full of energy. They finish their little debriefing and come over with smiles on their faces. All good. Thanks for patenting this. It looked like you were having a disagreement. Everything okay? That's the two of them trying to turn the conversation back into a cheerful direction. Again has a dead smile on her face as she points to the smashed deck. The expression drops from her face. Well, sorry. I'm not sure if you reached that idea, but please don't turn me into scrap, okay? I'm being pretty serious as a beg for mercy. Should I get down on my knees? Before it's too late? If that's what they're going to do to me, I'm already willing to give up my new goal for being a respectable sword. Now he happily clings onto my arm. And her sister's face changes. Are you sure? Which one is it? Even if the, uh, even the things you see are terrifying. Uh, Yori holds her head as she looks on. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's me or they're going to break. No, I don't think I can think of she looks at me with narrowed eyes. I don't even want to shake that uh, hornet's nest, so I keep my mouth shut. Okay, the thing is defeated, so let's keep going. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> The twins uh, take the lead again, heading to the right. Sorry girls, but why uh, are we going that way? On the right, the lake spurts all the way to a spot with a market, uh, marked high difference cutting up the land. If we're going to block, the left route looks better. Mally? Don't you need mountains for that? My concept of a valley is something that runs deep between two mountains. A sightseeing spot, same. Famous for its winter foliage. But I haven't seen anything like that looking down from the palace. Cool? We can already see the ocean, but there's a valley without any mountains. And it's cool there? I thought in my head. I thought you can provide a better explanation, so I decided to just follow them. We reached a lip at the end of the lake. Ooh! And I think on that note, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in another episode real soon. But uh, subscribe, it's free, thanks, maybe we block as well, yeah.